Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about why I stopped shaving my legs. And I guess before we talk about that, we'll talk about when I started. So I started in like sixth grade. I stole my dad's razor. Um, I didn't tell my mom or ask for permission or anything. And I just did it because some of my friends were and I just wanted to. And I definitely really cut myself pretty deeply um, right on my shin and that hurt and left a scar for a really long time. And then through high school, like sometimes I would and sometimes I wouldn't and sometimes it would grow and some of my friends would do this too and you know, some of them would shave all the time, but all a little bit different. I tried every type of hair removal. I mean, I did waxing and I did um, Nair, which is so toxic and smells so bad for so long. Like it would make you smell for so long. It was so weird. Uh, we, one of my friends had those, a machine that had like these little discs that spun. So you'd grow your hair a little bit and then you'd run this machine up and down and it'd pluck them all out. Um, my mom got one of those like electrolysis things from a yard sale. That doesn't seem safe, but we used it anyways. And you put it in your hair follicle and tried to like electrocute the follicle. Uh, all these things. Oh, I had that sandpaper pad where you just like scrub the out of your leg and just rubbed it. I mean, you were smooth for a little while, but your skin was also maybe a little bit raw. Um, so I've just tried like all of the things <clears throat> for this hair removal. I don't love shaving. My hair grows back so quickly. Like it's good for a day, but I'm just, I don't love the upkeep of a daily shave and I don't like the prickly feeling. Um, it feels nice to have them shaved, you know, on the sheets. It feels like smooth and good for a little bit or whatever, but I guess I don't love that more than uh, enough to like keep up with it. Um, and when you, once it gets longer, it's pretty soft, at least mine is. Um, but for me, my leg hair is pretty dark and pretty thick, uh, just on the lower, mostly front part of my leg, like the only part people would see like um my upper legs my knees up everything is so blonde and thin you wouldn't you wouldn't even notice I do wonder if my lower leg hair would be so different if I hadn't uh done all this hair removal stuff because even then I really only did it up to my knee because everything else was so blonde so like this is my terminal growth here not a great shot but you can yeah you can see it's thick and it's dark and I um, it's been winter, so my legs are not tan at all, so it's even more noticeable. So, like, during the pandemic, I just quit shaving because I wasn't going anywhere, which I used to shave enough that it was like she hasn't shaved in a long time, but I, you could tell that I did once in a while. Or maybe I would, you know, for an occasion, something's going on. But, um, yeah, I just quit during the pandemic, and last year, 364 days ago, I shaved for my anniversary and I was just meditating in the shower and like, should I, or shouldn't I? My husband truly doesn't care, but I was like, should I? And then I did. Cause I thought hair stores memory. And I just wanted a fresh start for the fresh year of our, our marriage. Um, so it's been a full year and I've been feeling like recently a little bit self-conscious about it because it's short season again. And I was feeling like, do I want to shave? Do I want to shave once just to start fresh? Um, I don't know because like I wear it out and people can obviously see my legs and stuff. It looks confident but sometimes I don't feel it. I guess so I was talking to my husband about how I didn't feel confident about it and he was surprised by that because he thought I didn't care and he's I'm like he's like it doesn't bother me. I'm like well do you find it attractive and he's like well what I find attractive is that you're comfortable being yourself. And I think that's the most attractive thing. And I thought that was really beautiful because it's um, it's a pretty special thing to have somebody notice that about you, I guess, that you're just comfortable being yourself. And that's what I find attractive. Like the hair, I don't care either way. There's not one way or the other. But he's not specifically like, I love natural legs and all leg hair is attractive. <laughs> but he loves me and thinks I'm attractive. So, um that's really all that matters. So I was telling him, because I'd been feeling like, I don't know, I was like, one thing I've never done is I thought about bleaching it, because then it would just be like more blonde, it would blend in with the rest of my legs, even though it's very thick, it would be like 
maybe it would be better. But that's, like, I try to be so natural, so I felt like that's, like, a lot of toxins. My husband's like, what? Like, why would, why would you do that? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. He's like, you don't want to use Roundup. Why would you do that to your body? He's like, quit worrying about it and just move on. If you want something to worry about, worry about your book. Just, wh what are you doing? Just move forward and stop thinking about it. Which is pretty cute. <laughs> and the book I've been reading is really good. It's this one here, and you, you should read it. I will link it below. And... I mean, I'm not affiliated with Amazon, but I love it. And then we can talk about it. So that'd be fun. He's like, wait, I know I'm supposed to just like listen to you and be supportive and not always offer you advice when we're talking. And I just gave you a lot of advice. But this one, I think you just need to move forward fun, <laughs> which is also really, really sweet because sometimes you just want to be heard. I don't want everything to be fixed. Um, he's like, it's your fur anyways, remember? And I forgot because when the pandemic first happened and I was... Um, sitting and like my son was so little and he's like two or three and he just caught me kind of looking at my hair and I think I was like I had pulled one and he's like what are you doing like I, I don't know I'm just looking at my hair he's like you you don't like it and I was like I don't know I don't know how I feel about it yet he's like I like it I like your fur I like that <laughs> so now it's my fur and I'm just gonna like it and I'm gonna move forward with it and just leave it alone with one of my friends and she's like I love that you do this I think it's great she's like I found that tending to my body and shaving every day has given me a more positive relationship with my body and myself and I'm like I think that's great like that's what feminism is it's really just supporting other people and their choices I have no opinion on other than do what feels right to you in your heart instead of societal pressure like do you love shaving your legs awesome I'm glad you found something that makes you feel good about yourself do you like leaving them a little bit long okay I just think it should be something that's a choice from your heart instead of a societal pressure from like the razor companies and the fashion police and the people who think that women should look like children by removing all of their leg hair, that that's an attractive look. By removing all your body hair, you should be more attractive because you look more like a child because that to me is like, ew, I don't want any part of that. So tomorrow will be one full year since I've shaved and I... I'm going to leave it and I'm going to let it go and I'm going to worry about my books <laughs> and worry about other things and stop thinking about it because it has been on my mind a little bit. So I hope you're having a good day. I hope you are loving yourself in whatever way that makes you feel good for you and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for stopping in. Goodbye.